it's homebrew coming at ya. All right, previously I did a review on He Said, which was a Belgian style triple with pumpkin. So tonight I've got the other half. So this is what I, I reviewed before, right here. This was the Belgian style triple with pumpkin and spices. So today we've got the Baltic style porter lager brewed with pumpkin and spices. Uh, interesting, interesting, you know. Just take a better look at that. I'll describe it as best I can. This one's a little bit different in terms of the seasonings. This one has, yes, the pumpkin puree and the pumpkin juice in it. It's made with a German lager yeast. And then it has Vietnamese cinnamon and ground caraway. So it promises to be an interesting beer. I'm gonna get this one popped open and give it, give it a try here. You know, I've never even heard of a, a porter lager, let alone pumpkin porter lager, Baltic style pumpkin porter lager. Boy, that's a lot to say, but look at that. <laughs> that's pretty black. And look at that nice two finger head on there. There's some fairly large bubbles, but uh, it, it is an attractive looking beer, that's for sure. <laughs> This is some unique stuff. Again, this one was brewed by, uh, it's a collaboration by Elysian Brewing and 21st Amendment. So Elysian Brewing out of Seattle and 21st Amendment out of San Francisco, uh, California. And it's an 8.2% beer. So we're gonna call this a Baltic Pumpkin Porter. Lager. <laughs> Let's get a nose on it. Oh, wow. <laughs> You know, I had a beer once before, I think by Elysian, with that Vietnamese cinnamon. And that is, that is definitely coming through these dark roasted malts. Wow, this is, this has a fun aroma. Okay, I'm not picking up much of pumpkin on it. I, I get a little bit of the gourd, but mostly I'm getting like uh, this... The, the cinnamon, the Vietnamese cinnamon, which is a spicy cinnamon, uh, rising to the top over some roasted malts and light chocolate on it. It almost, it almost has a smell of like a brown ale with, you know, a really rich brown ale with cinnamon. It, it, this is just unique. Uh, very, very different. Mrs. Clement's homebrew took a, took a whiff and she goes, oh, I like the smell of that one. Um, for familiarization purposes too, caraway. Caraway seed is something that you'll find commonly like in rye breads um, and like pumpernickel breads. Uh, so that kind of aroma you might grab your canister, take a whiff. I'm not picking that up though in this. Uh, again, I'm just getting those that, that, that roasted malt hinted chocolate with the cinnamon. So. Anyway, we're going to go for this one. Cheers. I can tell caraways in the taste, though, however. Unless you, unless you know what caraway smells and tastes like, that's very hard to describe, but the caraway is toning down, I don't want to say a rye taste, but that rye bread taste, okay? Pumpernickel taste, rye bread taste, the combination of those two feels like it's been popped into this Baltic style porter. Um, and the cinnamon isn't as dominant in the taste, in fact, it's not dominant, it's not as strong in the taste as it is in the aroma. But in the taste, the, the Vietnamese cinnamon just adds like a little extra spice, a little extra kick. But actually, the caraway more dominates the flavor. Really interesting, very, very interesting. So it just tones down with this rye bread, pumpernickel bread on top of very roasted malt and chocolate. And in the taste, I think the chocolate is a little stronger than the roast as opposed to the aroma. And it's, it's almost a reach in some ways to pull the pumpkin out. 
the pumpkin puree and the pumpkin juice. I think I get more of the pumpkin juice aspect almost. Many of you know I'm, I'm a sucker for different. I'm a sucker variety. I, I really am. And so, of course, I'm, I'm quite enjoying this beer. Having said that, though, again, it's, it's this, this caraway really is, uh, brings that strong influence of flavor, like, again, like pumpernickel and rye bread and so forth. And you're not getting as much of the pumpkin, yet you're getting this really nice uh, uh, roast chocolate kind of mix, uh, Baltic porter type flavor. Uh, which is which is quite nice very very enjoyable. So this is unique um, I really I think I liked the other one because it was so light and bright flavors. This is the darker side and so But they did I think still a very very good job All right, so rating again. How can you rate this can you know, there's no category of Baltic pumpkin porter <laughs> But a delightful beer really a Fun try. I would encourage anyone to try this. I'm going to just do an overall on this beer. So on the overall, honestly, I've got to probably call this a B beer. I'm loving it and I'm enjoying it. I think B beers are great, but that caraway probably could have been less influenced. You really needed more of the pumpkin to come in. And so not a lot of pumpkin, but very entertaining beer for sure. I'm gonna give this one an 84. Uh, it's that B, low B, you know, not quite a B minus. Uh, fun beer, definitely though. I would say check it out. This is the um, Baltic style porter lager brewed with pumpkin and spices. This is what you're looking for. I would get the set, I really would. Uh, this was a fun set for me. If you like variety and different things, I would really encourage you to get it. I haven't seen any reviews. I haven't seen written reviews. I just saw these and said, I gotta go for it. Lysian is a master with pumpkin ales. Uh, I think we all realize that. Uh, but I've had a lot of fun with these two beers. So from uh, Kevin at Clement's Home Brew, life is too short to drink cheap beer. And I will see you in the next beer review.